Good morning and happy Monday, Groovy Citizens. When I tell y'all my workout this morning was just off the chain, please believe me. Met and exceeded every goal. As you know, today is Monday, so that means it's leg day. And I got in an awesome leg workout. I'm spent, but I'm happy that my workout went great, considering I didn't make it to the gym yesterday. Now, yesterday was my one hour of cardio day, but by the time I finished doing everything I needed to do, and make sure you all go to my YouTube channel and check out my cooking video from yesterday, because that was a success as well. But by the time I got home and uploaded the video, edited and all that other good stuff, I was just plum spent. So. I did not make it in here yesterday, so I'm here today. And y'all, let me tell you something. I was so caught up in my workout that I done broke my daggone wash. Look at that. The band just, just snapped right on off. I said, good God almighty. But God is good because guess what? I have another one at home just like this. Only it's in blue, but it is what it is. And so I'm just glad I have something else to fall back on. So I'm going in the house, get it charged up so I can sync it up to my phone and get started using it. So before I jump into my topic, I also want to say I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And guess what? This week is going to be amazing. You know why? Because I'm claiming it for all of us. I'm claiming it for you. I'm claiming it for me. This is going to be an amazing week. Something that you've been praying for is coming. And I feel it in my spirit, not only for me, but also for you. And so that thing you've been praying for, it's coming. That new job, that, that, that business deal, new clients, whatever it is that you've been praying for, it is coming, you guys. So just believe that. Believe it and receive it. Don't question it. Today's topic is evaluate the people on your team. Mm. Evaluate the people on your team. Yesterday, I was listening to a video. Actually, not even, I was listening to it and watching it on YouTube. And Joel Osteen, he was talking about, uh, he, well, actually, he was telling us to evaluate the people on your team and ask yourself if they are building you up or tearing you down. So that's what we're going to talk about today for the next few minutes that I have to spend with you all. And I just thought, you know what, that is so... That's just so powerful because to be honest, which I have to go back and, and watch the video again because for whatever reason, that particular part of the video is what sticks out the most for me, although it was a motivating video altogether. But I need you all starting today. And you know, whenever I give you all instructions or whenever I give you homework, as I like to call it, I need you to start today. Don't wait. Don't say, well, Michelle, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. Well, Friday is a new month, so I'll do it next month. Oh, I'll do it next year. No, I need you to start today, today, today. Because y'all know what I've told you about that, right? Today is all you have. Tomorrow is not promised to you, and it certainly is not promised to me. So I need you today to really look at the people on your team. And when I say the people on your team, I'm talking about through every facet of your life, the people on your team at work, are they there building you up? Well, let me say this. Are they there building you up to your face and then secretively tearing you down behind your back? Because a lot of times that does happen. However, and because I always say, I don't worry about stuff like that because God will reveal people's motives and actions to me when I need to know about. So I never worry about who's plotting against me. That's none of my business. It is none of my business. So I want you all to look at it that way as well. It's none of your business. But just know that everybody that smiles up in your face does not want to see you succeed. But I digress. And so look at the people on your team at work. Are they building you up or are they tearing you down? Look at the people on your team and your family again are they building you up or are they tearing you down because y'all know and i'm always talking about this even with family sometimes it can be kind of detrimental for you because family is not always trying to build you up either because sadly you have people in your family that don't want to see you succeed they love you oh yeah 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 they they love you 
but they just don't want to see you succeed. Why? Because they're not trying to accomplish anything. They have no real goals or, or anything like that. So they don't want to see you achieve yours. Come on now, why would they? <laughs> why would they when they're not trying to achieve anything? And look at, when I say your team, look at your your inner circle. Who's in your inner circle? And we've talked about this a lot over the last couple of years. Know who's in your inner circle. Because again, everybody that smiles in your face and says they want to see you succeed, they don't. A lot of people, and y'all know I've said this before, a lot of people are looking you in the face, they smile at you, I mean, put on that big Colgate smile, and they just clap their hands because they, they pretend that they're excited for you. But inside, they're saying, look at her, look at him. I can't stand their ass. <laughs> I hope they fail because I just really can't stand them. But they're smiling and they're clapping. And you thinking, wow, you know what? I have this great team of people around me. When in reality, they don't really wanna see me succeed. They're just pretending. So again, I want you to really think about who's on your team. Because again, everybody doesn't want to see you succeed. And if you go down the list of the people on your team, now again, at work, you can't, there's nothing you can really do about that because the people that work in your office or work on your team or work in your division, you can't do anything about that. It is what it is. But I would suggest that you just look at the people within that organization and weed out the ones that, that really don't have your back. I'm not saying you have to be nasty to them. You know, you can speak, say good morning, say good evening, have a good weekend, all that other good stuff. And when it comes to work, sit down, get the work done. I'm not telling you to do that, but what I'm telling you is you don't need to get buddy-buddy with them. And you don't need to tell them your business. If it's not work-related, then you don't talk about it, period, end of sentence. And if they try to engage you in conversation, you just say, you know what, Judy, or you know what, Craig, I have so much to do today. So I'm, I'm, I really need to jump into this work. And then if you say that enough, eventually they'll get it that you're not really interested in the small talk with them. And you can be polite about it. Y'all know my motto. I smile just as nice as I can since I've been wearing, I've worn braces for what was it, almost four years and my teeth are nice and straight. I just smile. I really have a lot to do. But in the back of your mind, you're thinking, if you don't go sit your arms down somewhere. Because you have to keep those 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 boundaries, the, the, those lines, those imaginary lines, you've got to keep them clear. And you cannot confuse people with who's on your team and who has your back with those that don't. Even in your families, like I said, you love these people, but you gotta just know who's there for you and who's not. And the people that are not there for you, keep them at arm's length. Love them from a distance, pray for them always. Pray for everybody, but pray for them always. But you just know that they can't be in your inner circle. And, and then lastly, look at your inner circle. Every year, every year, well heck, you can do it every six months for real, or even every month, depends on how you wanna do it. But every year at least, Look at your inner circle and ask yourself, are these people building me up or are they tearing me down? If every time I share with them that I wanna do ABC or XYZ, they're going, oh, well, you know, it's not the right time or yeah, I don't think that's gonna work out or my, my friend, they did that and it didn't work out for them so I wouldn't waste my time. Sometimes they are being truthful with you about those things, but a lot of times it's just because they don't want you to, to succeed. And fear is real. I know people say fear is just in your mind, but when I say fear is real, I'm talking about people truly have a fear of them failing, of them succeeding, but they also have a fear of you succeeding. And so they're going to try to talk you out of whatever it is that you want to do. So as you go about your day, because I'm going to let y'all be, I'm hungry and I need to get a sip. Hold on. Mm. Excuse me. As you go about your day, this squirrel, wow, he didn't got him a big old acorn. Oh, he's staring at me. Let me look away. Um, I lost my train of thought. But yeah, as you go about your day, 
I want you to start thinking about the people on your team, wherever that may be. And think, ask yourself a question, ask yourself the question, are they building me up or are they tearing me down? Are they good for me or are they just being negative all the time? Because that's another thing. I can't be around negative people like that. that. That just brings down my energy, my chi, if you will. So again, if you have a journal, y'all know I'm big on journaling, pull out your journal and you write down the names of the people in your inner circle or the people that are on your team and ask yourselves those questions. See, because once you identify who is who and what their real motive is, excuse me, then you know how to deal with them. It's almost like that that old saying, when you know where the snake in the grass is, you don't have to worry about getting bit because you're not gonna go anywhere near. When you know who's on your team and what their motive is, you don't have to worry about whether or not they're 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 there to do you any good or do you do you any harm? They're doing you some good that you want, but if they're there to do you harm, then you keep them at arm's length. Keep them at arm's length and forgive them. I forgot to mention that. Forgive them. Forgive them for they know not what they do. Well, they really do know what they do, but they don't know what they do in terms of they're trying to tear you down, hold you back, is blocking their blessings. Remember that, y'all. Anytime you try to hold somebody down, you are doing nothing more than blocking your own blessings. So be careful about that. But forgive them, not for them, but for you, so that you can move on. And like I said, you can still love them. You can still care about them. You can still pray for them, but you keep them at a distance. And my motto is this, I'll forgive you, but that doesn't mean I, I'm going to break bread with you. Always know that. But I still love you. But I'm just, I just don't, you can't be in my inner circle because you're not good for me. And if I'm not good for you, then you tell me that. And let me know. And you can let them know if you choose to, but you know, that's up to you. But if you're not good for me, depending on who you are, I can let you know that. But my actions will speak much louder than my words ever could always know that so that's it y'all i need going in here and get me something to eat i think i'm gonna have me some cream of wheat yeah i think i'm having me some cream of wheat today <clears throat> but you all go out there have an amazing monday on purpose go out there have a great week on purpose and y'all this is crunch week this is what i call crunch week and the reason why i say that is because friday starts a whole new month Friday is the 1st of October, which means it is the first day of the first month of the fourth quarter of the year. And I got a whole video planned to talk about that because I want to talk about how you can end your year on a strong note. But I digress. This is crunch week. Go out there and do the things that you said you were going to do. If you said you were going to start going to the gym, get your butt in the gym. Get it in the gym. Like I said, I was in there today. Got in my workout. Tomorrow, one hour of cardio and I'm out. Wednesday, it's all about the back. And y'all, Wednesday's a big day for me. Wednesday's a big day for me, but I'll tell you about that on Wednesday. And then Thursday, one hour of cardio, and then I'm out of there and I'm ready to start a new month, which will bring on all new goals, all new, just all new everything, okay? Go out there, you guys. I love each and every one of you. You know the drill, you know my spiel. I love you all and there's nothing, absolutely nothing that you can do about it. Period. End of sentence. I'm going to love you no matter what. And I forgot to say this. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have you here. I do car vlogs every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Every now and then on a Tuesday or Thursday. I'm sorry. Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Every now and then on a Tuesday or Thursday. Very rare on a Sunday. But come back because I'm always going to motivate you. I'm always going to speak life into you because that's just my purpose in life. For those of you, this is not your first rodeo. Welcome back. Missed you guys. So glad to have you back. Join me again, if not tomorrow, on Wednesday. Again, I love you all. Go out there. Be the amazing people that I know you can be. And always remember that I love you even when nobody else likes you. That's a check you can take to the bank and cash anytime with me. And it will always be good. Until next time, take care.